All right, Lanta, so today is the final day for part two of the ninth anniversary. The banner itself will be leaving tomorrow. At least for me, it's going to be leaving at like 11 hours time. And then obviously with that, the individual banners will be starting. And with that in mind, I have not actually yet pulled in this banner on my second free-to-play account. So that's what we're going to do today for the final day of this particular banner. I've already done two discounted steps just to test my luck. Haven't actually got anything thus far. And when it comes to the actual characters in this banner, I believe I already have a Max run instead of Unahana. So basically everything in this banner is kind of like low-key not needed besides Toshiro, Sajin, and also Soifun. Now, I would love to wait and see what part three is going to be. That will be getting announced in less than 40 hours time. Uh, but this banner won't be here, right? So I want to say I at least attempted to try and go for the anniversary characters. So let's go ahead and do like 12 steps. And in this case, no way we're starting off with Toshiro. That is so lovely. Lovely. Absolutely lovely because I pulled on the Swimsuit Bambietta banner. I pulled way more than I should have. You remember what I did back then. I mean, I got both Menina and also Bambi in five steps. And then I ended up doing like an extra free 2,000 orbs for Candice. And I didn't get Candice. So that basically ensures that I can actually tackle the upcoming range Sturmer to Gilchrist. And having one in three steps is already better than my main summons. Let's be honest. My main summons took like 12 multis to get one. And then another 10 to get another. <laughs> it's, it was rough on my main. I'm not going to lie. Uh, in this case, it's free to play. So, like, I'm not spending money on these orbs. But I still don't want to get shafted, right? Is that another five? That's a five shot to fake out. Yo, we can get soy fun. We're absolutely chilling. I would love for a Brave Battle unit, Sergeant, but... Well, that's not the Brave Battle unit that I want. We got Yuha. Okay, we'll skip past that. So one Orihime uh, fake out only means one or more five stars. There is the potential chance we could get a two in one here. But chances are not very high. It's possible, but likely not to happen. Uh, but five stars are coming through, I think. I actually can't remember when I got my discounted steps. Because they were like two weeks ago almost. But of course, it weren't any of the new banner characters. But uh, yeah, we can get soy fun. That would be great too. Because this account does somewhat care about guild quest scores. Another five. This is guaranteed right now, mind. <laughs> Let's get it. Come on, soy fun. Ah, oh. who do you? Who do you? But yeah, this account does care about Guild Quest. So if I can't beat a GQ, that's going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, in this case, I don't have any of the Soifon to be Fierce Battle or Thousand Year Blood War. So I really do need that new Soifon. Uh, if anything, maybe the leftover orbs that I will... Ah, yeah, do. I mean, maybe this one's bad. I actually don't know if I'm missing her. She's an old one, right? There you go. That's actually a new character. That's 200 dollars right there. Decent link for any heart a brave battle unit. Which right now there aren't. I mean, actually, there's many yet. Never mind. I'm about to say there isn't any. Uh, but that was step six. So that was our guarantee. Two and one. We'll take it. New character already. Let's go into number six. That is a potential fake out. Doesn't like it. The golden light there came out a lot earlier than what you would usually expect with a fake out. That's how you can tell you're about to get an Orihime fake out, is if the golden light is a tad bit delayed. With Tsukushima, there's no sparkles, and then with Aizen, there's no way to really tell. But sometimes Aizen, for me, happens on two... Look at that! What was I saying? Look what I was saying! Shout out to Gucci, Ferrari! Oh my god! Ah, oh, of course Ichibe had to show up, man. He's like... For anyone that was playing the game back at the start for, uh, you know, Bracer when it first came out, he's like the new Mind Mayuri. He's in, like, every banner, and you keep seeing every time he's, he's featured. 3 and one though. I literally have not gotten an Aizen fake out in so long. In so long. But I was literally about to say, there's no really good way to tell if you're about to get an Aizen fake out. But usually, for me, it happens on two butterflies into a gold. And usually, two butterflies is normally nothing. Sometimes you get lucky, but we have two more five stars here, right? Come on. We are Toshiro deep. No way. What day got this focus slot? That's actually still really good. Can we get a soy fun? What is going on a free five Toshiro? Oh my god. <laughs> Would I have preferred Sergeant and Soy fun over a, a free and three out of five Toshiro? Maybe, but I, I'll take that. That's still sick. That's still cool. I mean, it, it, it could have been free YouTube base. We could have, we could have looked at it like that. It could have been free YouTube base. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Man, the luck's going crazy right now. I would have loved this on my main account because again, my main account went all the way to step twenty-five. Like this luck and doing twenty-five steps would have been enough to satisfy me. Uh, and fortunately for me, though, twenty-five steps. Even though I can't really complain, I did get one copy of each character. But you know, I don't want to do twenty-five steps for one of each. I'm glad I got one of each, though. I will be honest, because it could have been worse, but. You know, I ideally wanted to get duplicates, especially with my uh, part one summons, where like I was super lucky. My expectations were high, higher than it should have been, so to be honest. Unfortunately, in this case, our last two modes has been absolutely dead. 
kind of losing momentum on that Eisen fake out. But going into step number 10, can we fin- I mean, we'll do the discounts after that. Can we finish up? Can we get a Soifon? Can we get a Sergeant? Let's find out. Let's find out. Our last guaranteed fight down we'll get in. We got Cho- I'm going to say Chojo. <laughs> we got Sergeant. Nice. That's sick. And there's potentially a Soifon in this multi. Surely, right? Uh, two of the five banner characters, three banner characters, actually really good in 10 stats. Plus duplicates of Toshiron. I guess in this case, I'm going to save for Soifon's individual. Her individual does start tomorrow. I won't pull on it tomorrow. I'll wait to see what part three of the anniversary is going to be first and foremost. Before I do decide to continue summoning. Ah, but I will be doing the discount nonetheless because a duplicate of Sergeant, a duplicate of Toshiro wouldn't be too bad. And in this case, it's only, what, like 350 orbs? But yeah, like I said, we'll talk about part three tomorrow uh, in our prediction video. That's a five star. Uh, I'm hoping for a full Hollow Ichigo. That's all I have to say, right? I don't know any leaks, but I would love to see a full Hollow Ichigo. Uh, in this case, Quincy. We're going to Uryu. Can we get two and one? Let's skip it. Ah, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Step number 12. Let's see what we are about to get. Uh, it's, it's a it's a one butterfly into no fake. I can't end it there. I can't end it on a four star, but I won't be doing any more summons on this. Instead, let's do uh, maybe two steps on this banner. It, it's still worth summoning, right? I don't have Yuha and Ichigo 5-5, five, five, so any duplicates there would be great. I believe I have Orohime 5-5, five, five, so no, no Orohime's, please. Four star. Let's not hope that both of these modes here are both four stars. I won't even mind getting an Aizen or a Soifon in this particular banner. It'd be funny if we got Miyuku Shoko or Soifon in this banner, but not the other one. Uh, although what's not funny is the fact that we just got back-to-back -back four stars. So unfortunately, it does seem like we are ending on a four star. We can't go any more than that. I am out of orbs for the time being. I'm mean, like, I still found some orbs. I still have a bunch of sub stories. That's where most of these orbs came from. I still have a bunch of uh, story to do. And now I guess I have a few characters max, but overall in 10 steps, I'd say it's a fat W. I mean, three Toshiro is insane, and also Sergeant. Just getting one minor character with the rates in around 10 steps is good, right? Sometimes two is great. But the fact that we, we essentially got four banner characters. Would have been amazing to sweep the banner in 10 steps. But I can't complain because I now have three out of five Toshi. That's going to carry me in the range of Stone Ritter. And also no Valyrian Gear Quest. Yachu is a good link. Also resurrectable. And then I also do have Sargent. I guess Sargent is going to be my Brave Bar team. Currently I'm sitting in 10th so it doesn't really matter all too much. But I don't own the, the base Menina. But then again, I don't really need it. I have a Max Transcended... Soon to be Max Transcend. I can actually do that once I do invest into her. But we have Orihime. We have also have Sergeant 1 5, and that's good enough as is. Do I have Chad? I believe I recently pulled him. Do I have duplicates of him though? Yeah, yes, I do. So that's actually a 4 out of 5 Chad. On the three emojis that we did get, I actually did get that final copy. So yeah, my team's kind of set because that right now is the best team. It's basically what my current Brave Battle team is looking like on my main account. A 5-5 five, five Orohime, a 5-5 five, five Chad, and then a 1-5 Sergeant. That's not bad. So I'd say those summons were a success. It's going to help with my Brave Battle team and also Guild Quest. Again, I do need Soifon, but individuals coming out tomorrow can maybe put on that. I'll do the two discounts and then wait to see what part three is going to be. Because if we do have to get a full Witcher goal, guaranteed in certain steps, you know I'm going to have to do at least 2,000 orbs because I definitely did do that for Mugetsu. And for those that weren't aware, by the way, I actually didn't upload it, but I did summon on part one of the anniversary. 10 steps, no banner character, unfortunately, but we were able to pick up Mugetsu on the 10th step. And then we did do around maybe 15 motis. Not entirely too short, but we did pull on part one like 10 minutes before the banner did leave during my live stream. And we ended up getting a Grammy. So summons thus far have actually been quite good for this anniversary. I've limited myself on how far or how deep I go into a banner. At most, I've done like 15 steps and we walked away with four of the six anniversary characters, so it's not too bad. But anyway, guys, that was the video for today. Just a short one summoning on my alt account. Last minute summons. The banner leaves tonight, so if you want to do any last minute summons yourself, well, now's the time to do it. But remember, we also do have some big banners coming our way. We have no idea what mid is going to be, but there is the potential chance it is going to be Full Hollow Ichigo or Thousand Year Blood War. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And then, of course, end of month is likely to be Thousand Year Blood War. So, you know, the hype isn't slowing down anytime soon. You're going to need some mobs. If you're already satisfied with your summons, don't go in for more. Be content with what you got and start saving for the next big thing. What is that next big thing? I guess we'll find out in due time. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Take care and peace.